Hi, I'm with Kendall Ekman of Blackmagic Design, taking us through the Blackmagic Studio Camera and Blackmagic Ursa. That's right. All right, let's head over here to the studio camera. We can run through the specs on this. So what we've done is we're making a live production camera now to work with our ATEM switchers. So these cameras come in an HD model, it'll be $2,000. Also in a Ultra HD model, it'll be $3,000. We have a micro four thirds lens mount, so you can rig this, rig this up with pretty much any lens you want with ring adapters and things like that. You can see here we also come with XLR input. You have mic control here, headphone jack, so you can do nice, robust aviation style head, headsets. And then you have length control here. You can control the iris, you can control the focus. Great thing about this camera is that you actually have a tally light in here and on the front, so you get tally and talk back feed, feedback on that. Come over here, you can see we have a 12 volt power in here. We have our uh, SDI in and out, you have reference, so you can actually get in here and you can do uh, gen lock on it now. And then you have your optical in and out, so you can go, you can go optical direct, directly to our ATEM switchers. And another option that we've added in here that's really, really nice is that you can do color grading on this now. So we have a thing called camera control software. In-camera color grading. That's right. Very in camera, nice. Yep. So it'll go right into the ATEM switcher and you can do some shading. You can actually save out favorites also. So it's a really nice option. Um, so you yeah. can kind of, saving out favorites, it's kind of like your own LUT. Exactly. Yeah. If you want a monotone, you can save that out. Or if you get a certain look that you're really happy with in that environment, you just save it out has all your standard options. It's a nice 10 inch 1920 by 1080 screen on here. And the other great thing about these cameras is they, they go up into the higher frame rate, 60p. Yep. What's the ASA range on uh, it? I believe, it's, uh, I believe it's like 200 to 800. 200. Yeah. Yep. And dynamic range? Dynamic range is uh, 10, 10 and a half stops, I believe, something like that. Yeah. Yep. Now that's uh, uh, in comparison to the cinema camera, which had... Cinema camera is 13 stops. 13 stops. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then, but then uh, again, you're in studio, so. That's right. Yeah. yeah so From what I understand, it's not not really going to matter. Yeah. Okay. You know, we'll have to wait. Go down here. So we have the Blackmagic Ursa camera. So what happened is we came out originally, as you know, with the Blackmagic Cinema camera, and the pocket camera, and of course the 4K camera. Those were nice, intimate cameras, meant to really go into small areas, one-man operation, that kind of thing. We have about 15 different third parties that you can add on accessories to those cameras, and that's great because you can really customize it if you want to. But we wanted to build something that was more on the workflow side of things, where you could really have like an audio assistant or a camera assist doing focus, pulling focus, and then a DLP sitting back. So we made Ursa, and as you can see here, we have a five inch screen that's actually on both sides, and you can go in here and you can hit display, you can get your video output, you also go into menus. And you can do touch screen on this. So just like in our other cameras, you can go through and dial in all your settings. It's on both sides. So you can have an audio person sitting over here getting meters, getting all so other this has, scopes. So this has two 5-inch LCD screens and a 10-inch LCD screen. That's right. That's, That's right. Yeah. It's just crazy. It's, I mean, I love it. You can go in and do I mean, so much with this camera. You can actually add in another monitor here if you want to. We have SDI out and we have 12-volt power if you want to do that. Or do an eyepiece here, of course. You have your audio XLRs here, all of your settings time code in, time code out, and you have your SDI, SDI out. Battery pack on the back, so we made it optional. You can do like an IDX or Anton Bauer battery plate on here and just slip your battery on there. You still have an option for 12 volt back here also. And then if we swing around here, the real crazy thing about this camera, I love this, you can change out the sensor. So in a couple of years, if another sensor comes along and you want to put that in, you can. It's user friendly where you can go in and take four bolts out and remove the sensor and add a new one completely. So you guys are not only thinking four, obviously, you guys are thinking about 8K down the road. Uh, possibly, possibly. I mean, the body would stay the same, and, and we'll see what happens with the sensors, but you do have that option, which is really nice to be able to go and switch that out. Um, initially, we're going to send out the camera in a PL mount. That'll be $6,500, and then we'll also send it down in an EF mount. That'll be $6,000, and that'll be in July. Down the road, probably at the end of the year, there'll be a B4 mount, and then even after that, we made something that, uh, or they're working on something that will have no sensor, and you can actually hook, like on the rails right here, you could hook your own favorite camera, whether it's a DSLR and go HDMI into the camera, and you still have all the features of the body here, but you'd have your sensor and your camera sitting on the front of it. So then it becomes an external recording unit. Exactly. Um, the other thing we should talk about on this camera is that it records the CFast cards here. If one of them fills up, it automatically switches to the other. 
And this camera has water-cooled uh, system in it, so it can get up into the higher frame rate, so you can go up into 60p with this camera. It has a, a 10 gig SDI connection, so it gives you the ability to shoot in either HD or Ultra HD and get into the 60p frame rates. And that's Ursa. So you also introduced a whole bunch of other new uh, we did we, new, we uh, products. This we year. continued on our six gig uh, SDI connections from last year and really rounded out almost the entire product line to, uh, to give them six gig SDI connections to get up into the Ultra HD. Of course, with that connection, you can still do SD before you know, HD, but now you can do the Ultra HD. So we've added in on our Deckly products on Studio 4K. And our SDI 4K, now that you can get the Ultra HD for the A2. We added uh, new mini converters, so they're all up updated with a 6 gig SDI connection. And then, of course, uh, Turn X Express. This is a hot, hot topic right now because people want to go from Ultra HD and be able to get down to HD to actually send it out. We're going from HD and send it and convert it back up to Ultra HD. You can do that with the Turn X Express. It's $13.95, has optical fiber options in it too, so if you do long runs on that, you can. The great thing about that is we did a 12 gig SDI connection, so if you need to get into the higher frame rates at 60p, you have that ability also. Um, one other product that we are, well, a couple other actually on here that we have right here is the ATEM 2ME Studio 4K. This has 20 inputs. It can do Ultra HD and has a nice LCD screen here, so you can actually do a lot of your switching right on here in the front panel. Uh, we did upgrade the uh, smart. Video hub. We have a 12 by 12 now, we have a 20 by 20. These are upgraded in the 6 gig connection also. So if you need to get up an Ultra HD, you can. Again, you can do SD and HD with all of these products, but if you need to get an Ultra HD at some point, you're ready to go with it. The cool thing about these uh, Video Hub routers is that they also have an LCD screen, so you can go through and dial everything in, but you also can see the video. So you can do visual routing if you need to. Which we can see. And then this controls into the master control board. That's right. So you do have options. All of our ATEM switchers have been updated. The new software, the new inter interface will be on there. A nice new U UI. It's beautiful. And of course, all the ATEM switchers come with software. So you don't have to buy the panel. A lot of people do like to buy the panel so they can get on there and do their switching through the hardware. So you have that option. And they also work with the DaVinci Resolve already? Yes. 